righty. So here's yesterday's drone footage that I almost completely forgot to uh, make a video about. Um, so I have a lot to talk about, but not really a lot. So, but I have something I want to say to you guys. Um, it's kind of really exciting, but I can't reveal too much. Um, but nonetheless, over here at Maintenance Tunnel, I'm going to start calling this Maintenance Tunnel, guys. Um, I got some confirmation from one of my sources today. I could not fly today. It's been a snowstorm all day. But one of my sources tipped me off that rebar cages have been laid down all in that uh, that ramp. And it's in a ramp formation, which suggests to me um, them pouring concrete is that it's for... Uh, travel. I would have. I feel like they would have continued the brickwork if it was um, to be a guest path. So um, my assumption is that that's going to be a maintenance tunnel. Um, Thunder Run's old station has electrical kind of trenches dug out, leading to the electrical rooms and plumbing room that they kept um, over at the old drink stand. Nothing to report on. Thunder Run's exit is coming along nicely. Um, nothing going on in tunnel number three. It looks like that tunnel is simply just to get supplies in. Um, obviously, it's going to serve a purpose because uh, they removed um, the Tiny Toms and they cut it out. And if they were going to build a maintenance tunnel and just eventually use that, I feel like they wouldn't have needed to cut that hole. So we'll keep an eye on that. Um, tunnel number one has the same paneling. If you look really closely, the same you're going to see in a different shot as well. Um, same side paneling as Yukon Strikers' second tunnel. So very interesting food for thought. Um, they've completely removed the roof and side walls. Now they're just clearing it out. Um, and yeah, so Thunder Run's exit's coming along nicely. I'm trying to think if there was anything else to talk about before I talk about that. So here's a good shot that you can see of the side paneling. Um, I'm going to be super transparent um, with you guys. And this is not me blowing smoke. Um, this is a true statement I'm about to make. If all things align um, correctly, I should be able to tell you guys a manufacturer in the next three weeks. Um, and I just need to figure out how to do that. Um, but to be fully honest, this, again, this is not blowing smoke. I should be able to tell you guys a manufacturer in the next three weeks, okay? If all things align. Um, with that being said, um, Extreme Skyflyer's Plot of Land is coming along nicely. Again, I'm starting to think that this is either, either a very major element in the ride or the station area. I am starting to lean towards station area, um, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, work at Front Gate is going along nicely as well. Um, they're starting to do the roofing, I believe, what it looks like from over there, but it's hard to tell from so far away. The zoom is really good on this drone, but I'm still really far away where it is still hard to make out exact details, especially when I'm flying in snow. This is where it started to snowstorm really hard yesterday, um, and I couldn't, um, yeah, had to come back and land. Uh, this was an emergency shot. Um, this was uh, the rebar cages for Moosehorn Falls, so that's really cool to see, and then as you can see, the footing digger machine is there as well um so yeah really excited to share more information with you guys stay tuned for an update tomorrow um and yeah thanks so much have a good one guys bye